Well, good morning and welcome. I'm Pastor Jay, and this is a devotional time. I want to give a great big shout out to Odyssey All Stars from Lincoln. Uh, those those ladies went down to Myrtle Beach and they faced their fears. They had faith over their fears, and it came out that they were able to defeat the giants of fear and came home with uh, with so many accolades. And I just want to I just want to thank God that that He has put me. Um, uh, in contact with these guys and, and they're so wonderful and, and they're just such a class act. And I want to say congratulations to you, Odyssey All-Stars, for a great Myrtle Beach uh, victory, for a, for a great time down there that we've seen all the pictures and for a uh, blessed time off and for a wonderful season coming up. Now, as we go into this to this week, we had a wonderful time at LFBC this weekend. We talked about bitterness on Sunday, how bitterness can can overcome, and and Paul even says that it's like a an organism, a, a vine. It can grow inside of you and, and and start to to take root and grow and and take over uh, your thoughts and all that you do. We was able to see that there's only one way to overcome the the giant that is bitterness in your life, and that is through the cross of Jesus Christ. Victory is only found in the cross. From the from from Genesis to Revelation, victory is only found in the cross. I want us to see as we go off to work or to school or play this morning, I want us to see how we can we can use God as the protector of ourselves. We can we can use the word of God and we can use our relationship with God to to in some ways put a shield around us. And protect us from all the the of Satan's evil darts and and all that this world tries to bring toward us. But before we do, let us pray, dear gracious heavenly Father God. We love you and we thank you, Father. Lord God, just just lift us up today, Father, as we go out on this wonderful Monday. Lord, let us spread your word, Lord God. Let us remember that the the weekend that we've had, Lord God. I, I just pray for the Odyssey All Stars, Father, that you would just lift them up, Father. Lord God, and let them uh, see the victories that they had, not only in the physical, uh, but in the spiritual over the giants that tried to overcome them with injuries and, and other things. Lord, we love you. We praise you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, in the book of Psalms, I want us to look at uh, chapter 91. Uh, we're going to be in verse 2, just one verse. And I want us to look real quick because as, as we go through our day, I want us to understand that, that we not only have an advocate in our Father Jesus, but we have a a uh, a, a person in, in God and, and in Christ and in the Holy Spirit that protects us as we go into this, the, this worldly uh, domain. Uh, it says in verse 2, it says, I will say to the Lord, hallelujah, I will say unto the Lord that you are my refuge and you are my are my fortress, my God in you will I trust. Well, hallelujah and praise God. Understand this today, dear ones, as you go off, like I said, to work or school or play, God is your refuge from all of this world, from all the things that are going on that are trying to harm you and hurt you and bring you down. Understand that God is your refuge. And when you need that protection, when you feel like you need protected from the world, that you feel like you're beat down, that you feel like that you just can't, you can't lift yourself up and, and Satan's trying to jump on you with all fours and beat you down. Understand this too. The book of Psalms says that, that God is our fortress. He is our fortified walled city. He will protect you in your time of need. We should give all our praise and glory. And it says, in God in whom I will put all of my trust. Dear ones, trust in the Lord God to be your refuge and your fortress. And you will always have power over the evil one and power over this world. And remember that the cross of his son Jesus Christ is where we find that victory to be able to put up that refuge and that fortress and fortify our lives as a Christian. Well, hallelujah and praise God. Well, there again, my name is Reverend Jay Warlick and I'm the pastor at Little's Fork Baptist Church. If you do not have a home church, why don't you come out to LFBC? I know that you'll be happy to see what Jesus Christ is doing there. You can also find us at www.leonardsfork.org. Have a great day and God bless you today.